this. But a lot of you have been asking, what does YTF? What does YTF stand for? Anyone notice the YTF? What's a stigmatism? What's YTF? YTF is a team. It's a group of individuals that come together to help each other live our dreams. We were all doing things on YouTube, and we were all invested in continuously creating content on YouTube. So we thought it'd be cool to have like a group where you know we shared that common interest. With help of one another, we're all able to be entertainers on YouTube, and uh, luckily we can make that our career now. We started putting YTFs in our videos. Because we do it just for us to see if we'd notice it. They're hidden. They're always like the hidden little messages. And people would be like, why is that YTF in the corner of the video at 2 minutes and 36 seconds? We wanted people to be like, YTF, what is that? We wanted them to be like, I see that everywhere. We wanted them to want to go and look for it. We wanted them to go and see what it's about. And uh, it, it worked. And people had, you know, their thoughts. It's why YouTube friends, YouTube famous. It, it was just like this buzz that happened. We kind of let the acronym remain a mysterious acronym for as long as Good. I don't know. Anyway, YTF stands for yesterday, today, forever. Yesterday, today, forever. I think that's cute. It's an idea. It's a lifestyle. Yesterday is in the past. Today, you have a choice. Forever is up to you. All seven of us in YTF believe that anything is possible. You have a choice right now, no matter what happens, to ultimately affect your future. The goal of the tour, other than to entertain people, is to teach them that same belief that we believe in, that they, if they want to pursue being a dancer, or a singer, or if they want to be a YouTuber like me, like, it's very possible. We all came from a place where it's like, being in that field, the entertainment field, was like, impossible in our minds. And now that it's possible, we want to tell people that they can do it too. I started in the dance industry. I started out on So You Think You Can Dance in 2007. I went on to win America's Best Dance Crew with Victor, actually. And then from there, I went back on to So You Think You Can Dance for like a little all-star thing. And now I am a current judge on America's Best Dance Crew, which is like a huge honor. There's no one in the world that will ever be like Dietrich. He's like Jim Carrey, put in your favorite dancer. You know, like he just, he's like the biggest personality and can dance like no one's seen. It's pretty cool. I studied business economics in college, and then all of a sudden, Dietrich and I went on the show called America's Best Dance Crew with our, our uh, crew, Quest Crew, and we ended up winning the show somehow. Since then, I feel like a kid in like a candy store, but life's the candy store, you know what I mean? I sing and dance and make art. It's pretty much me in a nutshell, you know? Sing, dance, art. Hello, my friends. Yes, it's been too long in how I've missed you. He's good at singing, he's good at dancing, painting, he's good at playing the piano. I mean, he has so many talents. He has his own shoe line, his skateboard line, his ukulele. It's, it's crazy. The guy is a beast. Uh, when he wants to get something done, he does it. I guess, yeah, I play the piano and sing, and that's what I do on tour, but I really enjoy acting more than anything else. I think the, the guys kind of look at me that way, too, anyway, as the more the actor -y guy, I guess. He's an amazing actor. It's funny because he sings and plays and writes music so beautiful, and he doesn't even consider himself a singer. God damn, you're beautiful to me. You're everything. Yeah. I don't know why, but he always says, he goes, nah, man, I'm not a singer. It's not, it's just, I'm just, it's fun to do. That's why I do it. I'm like, no, you're a singer, man. You, you're amazing. You write amazing. You play amazing. You're an artist. You're a musician. You're a singer, dude. This is a perfect night to me. I'm a singer songwriter. I made my way into my career through YouTube. Outside in Alaska, there's no way to really get into the music scene because you're so disconnected from everything else. 
late 2006, I started YouTube and then I got noticed and then I started doing shows outside of the state and it's crazy. And then I met all these crazy guys. Please don't break it. JR probably has the best voice that I've ever heard live, like hands down. Kevin, 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 wake up, Kevin, Kevin, what? Are you stretching your back yet? No. Oh, you need to stretch your back. You're gonna go to bed. Come on, go for you. Just stretch your back. You're gonna go to bed. Come on, let's do it. What? Let's do it now. Let's do it now. Just follow what I do, okay? My first videos were me dancing, pretty much, to songs that I like. I put videos out where I was talking to people and, and I got comments back and I had no expectation of Kev Jumbo being anything. I put my first video up and not knowing what would happen. I just hit 2 million subscribers and to me this is crazy. I don't even know how I got here. Kev is just, uh, he's funny man. His dad's funny too. I love watching his videos because the way him and his dad are always in the videos together. Their chemistry is amazing. He can just talk to a camera and people, like millions of people, just watch it and love it. I feel so dumb. I feel so Started singing at 18. Started an acoustic band and it kind of took off. I started getting a lot of plays on YouTube. I was like, wow, it's a good response. And we should try to take it on a bigger platform. So I tried out for American Idol season nine, made it to top nine, went on tour uh, around the US. I personally love Andrew's voice because he's got that raspy tone to it when he sings. And I just literally was like, and that is why you are the Andrew Garcia, because he just has something special about him. Hey guys, so a lot of you have been noticing that my subscribers are over five million. And a lot of you have been asking, hey Ryan, where's your five million thank you video? I don't think you guys talk like that. I'm just trying to do a different voice. This crowd is crazy. I got started on YouTube because I needed to bring my videos to my friends and like my family, but I didn't want to bring them a physical DVD, so I just uploaded it to this site called YouTube, and I just didn't realize a bunch of people would be watching it. Emo people have the same facial expression in everything that they do. It was really a gradual growth for me because for a lot of other YouTubers, um, even Kev, like they would get featured on the front page. That would instantly boost their career you know, on YouTube. For me, they never featured me in like 07, 08 is when I finally started realizing, you know, people are actually watching this. More requests for more videos came in, and I just kept doing it. Ryan actually is probably one of the quickest learners I ever met. He doesn't sing, but we would always sing around him, and he picked it up like that. He's like learning how to harmonize already. He's not even a singer. He picks up on dancing. He's like a quick learner, and it's crazy. Talent. Ryan has like been in the top on YouTube. He makes consistently funny videos, and, and he's killing it. It's like Eminem and Dr. Dre, if I love you more, I might be gay. And when I'm feeling down, you know just what to say. You my homie, yeah, you know me. And if you ever need a wingman, I'd let any girl blow me off. Cause you're more important than the rest. I confess, I'm a mess if I'm not hanging with my BFF. You know it's true, you my male boo. Now sing the chorus with me if you're feeling the same way too. It's our first tour, so for me, it's not about making money or anything. I just really want to have every show be known to be a good show. We have super incredible dancers and singers, and I want to show people that these YouTubers, these people online, can bring in these audiences and put on a great show. I love you. that we have behind it is, is so good and worth everything that you're doing in life. Whatever talent you have, if you abide by what we go by, yesterday, today, forever, you'll find yourself doing what you love and making something of it and being somebody. What's up everybody, we are YTF! And we are gonna be doing the cinnamon challenge. We're gonna make it a little harder because we're gonna eat the cinnamon and then try to explain all the cities that we're going to. So first, Andrew. First city? <laughs> 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 
The white tip tour will hit uh, Vancouver, San Jose, Portland, Houston, San Diego, and Anaheim. What we just want to do for our fans is give back to them everything they gave to us. It's just a chance to actually get to meet them and actually get to talk to them and kind of share why we started YTF and how they can be a part of it somehow. Today we're meeting with the boys to go over the tour schedule, ticket sales, and promotional initiatives. Okay, I'll start with ticket sales. Ooh. So, um... This is the semi I day. know. Q uh, no. Well, the good news is we have at least a week to, to keep going. To keep um. going. <laughs> okay, so this is as of two days ago. Um, two days. We sold about 2,400 tickets. All together? How many? Total. So, oh. we've only sold 2,400 tickets so far for the whole tour. I'm really concerned that we might not sell enough tickets to break even. There's a lot of work. We're a little bit of stress in it. You gotta worry about ticket sales. It's our name. We wanna look good. We wanna be able to be like, yeah, we, we had a lot of people come out see us. As far as a group, it's it's hard because we're not selling tickets. I guess it's really bad on the reputation, of course, for anybody that wants to try and put on a show. 250 in Anaheim, but then we, we promoted in Anaheim a lot later. So Anaheim's about a week behind all the other ones. I'm a little scared because we're not selling tickets. If we really want to sell these shows, you gotta just promote more. And I'm going on tour with YTF to a city near you. I am overly excited about meeting you in one of these cities. Six cities at the end of March, so get your tickets because they're going quick. Make sure you check out YTFglobal.com for more information. We need like serious promo in the next 10 days. Drop your guys' videos. I'm doing mine tonight. Kev, can you drop the fucking first video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you you're dropping the first channel? Yeah, I'm gonna do first channel. Why not? We need it, dude. Because it's not gonna be I last video. But yeah, like a music video. Yeah, let's do a music video. We'll help you. We'll do it all together. No, I swear, I, I am so down. What? Because we need it like bad. Yeah. We need it bad. Yeah. If Ryan and Kev, once you guys post your videos, then I think it'll help them probably way more than all of us put together. Ryan is number two on YouTube. He has over five million subscribers. If Ryan posts a video about the tour, it's definitely going to reach a lot of fans. There's a reason why Ryan, you know, one of the most followed people online. He's just, he's a comedic genius in his own right. He comes up with scripts every week, you know, and, and he, he executes. There's still a big upside here if we do it right. As much as we yeah. tweet and stuff, tweet, like tweets don't do anything. No, it's it's it mostly a little, too. but that's only like right. the hardcore ones. Yeah. Yeah, so. We need videos. Okay. Videos are very important for us in the, in the promotion and marketing side for our tour. You know, we use Twitter, we use Facebook all the time, but that's not nearly as strong as how YouTube is. You know, internally, it's always like, okay, how are we gonna how are we gonna sell tickets? Because you know, we don't have a traditional outlet to sell tickets, and it comes down to us. It comes down to individual members to promote it, and all the marketing is on us. So usually with artists, like Drake doesn't have to market his own show. He hires people to do it, and, and he has street teams. For us, we're not only throwing the show and performing, we also have to do all the marketing. Hey, we're we're gonna sell oh, I think so. I think so. I think so. We're gonna have a problem. Right right now. Right now. This is the worst one. Portland. San Diego and Anaheim and Portland. Uh, I, well, I think you just named eight. half. <laughs> <laughs> Planning wise, we didn't do the best job. I mean, we're we're trying to sell out by next week, and we've probably only sold like a fifth of the tickets. So what's at stake is we we do a show, and there's not a big turnout, and, and yeah, that's gonna hurt us, and it's gonna not give the fans the best experience they can have, you know. So we're trying to cram promotion this last week, and it's tough. The boys' core demographic is normally high school age, so the only way to reach them is through their YouTube channel. We really need the boys to take the promotion seriously. Do so you guys have your videos up by tomorrow night? At least. Filming mine, and then literally. literally yeah. We're done talking because you guys keep talking. I want to do it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I just feel really, really bad for the people that invested a lot of time and money into the show. I just Ryan, Kev, and the team. I feel for them. You know, they're doing all this for us. Realistically, Ryan's doing it for all of us. He has nothing to gain out of this. He has a lot to lose. He puts a lot of YTF on his back, like takes care of us, and he wants to see the best come out of it. For, for the sake of rehearsal, does everybody have their set planned? Yep. Then I guess what we need to work on is we need to help. Just nice guys. Nice guys. Nice guys finish last. That's why I'll treat you like trash. It's not what I really want to do. But you only
only date bad guys, so I'll give you my best try to treat you with. Nice guys by Kev, Ryan, and Chester is their biggest hit. I mean, it's, it's definitely Chester's like one of the biggest videos for Chester. And it's getting down to the wire, and we haven't even rehearsed it yet, and it's supposed to be our finale. If it's okay with you guys, I'll take control of that as far as like choreography and directing that. But if you have thoughts and ideas, then tomorrow we'll talk about it. Just keep in mind yeah. that, you know, it's not all of us can do anything. Dude, I know you guys got, I know what you got. So d tricks can be very serious. He has that goofy side, but when it comes to doing tech rehearsals and, and when it comes to putting on a great show, d tricks is very serious and he's very meticulous. Like he'll make us do it over and over. Wait, wait, so now, who can meet up tomorrow? I could. In the evening, I can. Yes. Okay, so let's do uh, 7 o'clock. PM? Yeah. Perfect. Nice guys, rehearsal. We'll rent the studio on Tuesday. Is that cool? JR? Hmm? Tuesday? Right. Tuesday? What time? Yeah. Like, nice guys, we'll, we're just gonna go over it a bunch of times and we'll be done. We have oh, lots yeah, we're of not doing that tomorrow. Pull this off. Out of seven of us, there's only two of us that are dancers, and even us, like, we can do stuff last minute, but for everybody to be able to put this on, like, it's gonna be a very difficult thing to do. It's Australia round two. <laughs> Realistically, yeah, yeah. dude, you know how girls are, dude. <laughs> so this is basically, this is how we rehearse. This is how we get down. We all go to one room and we sit here and talk about what we're gonna do. So Chester, what are you gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna sing. <laughs> Victor, what are you doing for your set? I'm going to uh, open up with a little Sinatra, mm -hmm. with a little little Ooh. dance breakdown. You got Frank to go, huh? Oh, a little, little yeah, Frankie in there. Frank. Little Frankie J, and then uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do this dance <laughs> where it's like breaking movements, but to to Sinatra's instrumentation. It's just kind of like me sitting back and like, I wonder how people are gonna react. You know, it's kind of like creating like an experiment, and then then stage is testing it out. I'm gonna bring up uh, a lady. Yeah, oh, yeah I'll do it. What's his name? Ryan here. I get it, I get it, because you made it like it was a guy, but it's really... Oh, that's what he meant. Yeah. Uh, okay. Victor is very distinct because he's a singer slash dancer. He's like a jack of all trades kind of guy. Jared, what are you doing? What am I doing? I'm going to start off with a uh, handle with care. No, wait, no, I'm not starting off. Am I starting off with handle with care? I sing a lot every day, so I guess that counts as a rehearsal. I just run through the motions with my set. Like, I'll just like literally stand in front of my a mirror and just sing in the bathroom or something. A lot of it comes down to when I get on stage and actually feel the energy. I'm starting I, off, I, I, and then you're gonna dance with me. We're doing a little collab on handle We're gonna collab, a little something, something. And then um, I wanna dance. Ooh. After that. Oh yeah. I love dancing just like I love singing. With the help of Dietrich, he made it a lot more comfortable for me to express that love. Everybody's like a sexy singer in the show. And when they sing, like the girls go crazy and stuff. And so I kind of come halfway through the show and I don't do that at all. For my routine, I basically come out and do a lot of crowd interactions. And I actually just dance like four different types of songs, different types of themes. That's kind of my performance. I respect Dietrich because he's such a funny guy and he's such a great dancer and I could never dance as good as he does. Ryan's gonna be, oh, this, I don't know if you guys know this, but Ryan's gonna be in my set. Yes, I am. Ooh. We're doing a bromance. We're doing so bromance. What are, you, what are you doing for your set? I'm gonna sing songs. What I'm songs? singers. Duh. Uh, original and some covers. <laughs> That's cool, man. And what is the order? Are you gonna like sing them loud, like out loud? Uh, yeah, if they're, if they're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People are just like, What's your set list? What are you gonna play? I just literally go out there and wing it every time. I'm just gonna sing. I don't, I don't know what I have planned yet, but uh, it'll be good. Ooh. I want the show to be tight, and I definitely want all the guys to be prepared. So that's a rehearsal. <laughs> that's where no, we're good. And then I'm gonna host, and I'll be like, hey, these guys are really good. And, and Ryan's gonna do that too. <laughs> 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 so we got a show! <laughs> we got a show. <laughs> Kevin is one of the most charismatic people on camera as a vlogger and what he does. And that's why it's great to have Ryan and Kevin both host. Well, what's great about them is they just walk out on stage and people just go nuts, you know, because they're just, they're them. They're them. Shot this video where we pranked Ryan and. Let's uh, see it! Sure, yeah! It's, it's, it's unrectoring. Uh, you know, 
to, for the conscious, we we all filmed like a lot of YTF videos. It was, uh, it was like yep. not planned. It just happened. Yep. A to A. Yep. <laughs> yep. So Stop. yeah, it's uploading. This is what we do. We make YouTube videos and we uh, promote our shows with it. Do we, what do we need to rehearse? Like rehearse yeah, we're not really rehearsing. I don't think we need to. No, we we're just talking right about here. It. We're, we're just gonna get a stage. We're gonna get. A stage. Oh, we just did rehearsal. That was rehearsed. You just did rehearsal. I think we're gonna panic on Thursday morning, and then we're gonna come together again as a group Thursday afternoon. I do enjoy the idea of not really knowing what's gonna happen next month. That excites me, actually. There's always a little bit of panic before the talent really starts to bubble up. Some are scared to not know what's gonna happen, but for me, that fear is what keeps me going. All right, so basically for Nice Guys, this is like the only part we're actually all together, and this is probably something that we have to really rehearse, but we're not gonna really rehearse it until like tomorrow. But even if you think you don't dance, I don't. I, mean, I don't dance either. You're dancing. Yeah, you At do. one point in time, everybody in YTF is gonna do some type of dancing. I say no. I'm dancing the whole time. And <laughs> you're gonna let me and Victor spit a couple verses. Woo! Freestyle. Oh. Cause we got freestyle for days. Give me a word. Tragedy, I do it at the same time. You couldn't beat tricks if you was at your own prime. Oh! My stuff is sour, lemon lime. <laughs> Find oh! me, cause that's what I do. The key to my heart, <laughs> I cry. Oh! <laughs> That one's so. free. That one's on me. <laughs> so so. So. I'll be giving them out like that. I need this tour to be a success because if it fails, then I'll never do probably a live show again. You know, it's not just about the seven of us. It's about a belief that we all have. All of us believe that we can accomplish whatever we put our minds to, and that's what we're trying to spread with this tour. Can YTF pull off the tour? We have to. Are people going to go to the tour? I don't know, but are we going to pull it off? Yeah, we're going to be at every show performing. Come and support us. Kevin basically just made his promo video for the tour one day before we take off. Yeah, we're going to Orange County, wake up. And if you really do believe in what you do and you love what you do, there's no reason why you shouldn't be doing what you love. Seeing the Anaheim venue really put things into perspective. And we just tweeted that we're going to be out here giving away tickets. Ah! And we got some people that came out. Yeah! Say hi, people. Hi. Yeah. What gets you guys charged? Fans. Fans. Yeah, fans, 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 fans. 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 You.